Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, the United States' suppression of Chinese chips can be said to have intensified. Basically, it has put its intention of suppressing Chinese chips on the bright side and made no secret of it. The United States is not only suppressing Chinese chips by itself, but also uniting with its allies to suppress Chinese chips. For example, the Netherlands announced some time ago to expand the scope of export control of products such as chip production equipment. In addition to suppressing China's chip industry, the United States has also provided subsidies of 52 billion US dollars to attract foreign chip manufacturers to enter the United States to build factories. This method of the United States has exacerbated other countries' concerns about chips. After all, US chip rules not only restrict the development of Chinese chips, but also suppress the chip industries of other countries. All countries are currently worried that their chip industry will be seriously affected by the repeated increase of chip restrictions by the United States. ST Microelectronics in Europe has previously accused the United States. Chip restrictions are also suppressing European semiconductors, because American companies have obtained export licenses, while European companies have not obtained export licenses. Under such circumstances, all countries began to worry about problems in the globalization of chips, so the United States also began to subsidize chips to attract foreign manufacturers to build factories. According to the latest news, the European Parliament recently passed the chip bill with 587 votes in favor and 10 votes against. In the context of China's restrictions on the export of germanium and gallium, the chip bill of the European Parliament is considered by many people to be suspected of targeting China. Chinese germanium and gallium export controls China announced the export control of germanium and gallium not long ago. This move is considered by many people as China's countermeasure against the tripartite agreement of the United States, Japan and the Netherlands to restrict the export of semiconductor equipment to the Chinese market. Judging from the current situation, China's restrictions on the export of germanium and gallium have indeed had a considerable impact on the United States, South Korea, Japan, the Netherlands, and other countries that have targeted the Chinese chip market. Gallium and germanium are rare metals and have always been regarded as strategic resources by various countries. These two resources and related compounds occupy an inaccessible position in the semiconductor, new energy battery and other industries. Whether it is new energy or semiconductors, they are currently hot industries and one of the trends in future development. From various perspectives, it is completely reasonable for China to restrict the export of germanium and gallium. After all, these two resources have an indispensable and important position in many fields, and these two resources are also listed as strategic resources by various countries. At present, all countries in the world will implement export controls on some strategic resources, so China's restrictions on the export of germanium and gallium are actually completely in line with international norms and international standards. Not only that, China's restriction on the export of germanium and gallium this time does not completely prohibit the export, but only restricts it. If the manufacturer can obtain the license and make clear to the relevant Chinese authorities the final destination and use of the exported products, then the products can still be exported normally. Most importantly, China restricts the export of germanium and gallium-related compounds, 
but there are no in-depth restrictions on the final products of germanium and gallium as materials. To put it simply, China restricts the export of low-end germanium and gallium products, but does not restrict the export of high-end germanium and gallium products. China's move is undoubtedly to ensure its own resource security and sustainable development, and at the same time it is also working hard to ensure the stability of the supply chain. Although China's measures to restrict the export of germanium and gallium are not very strict and are in line with international standards and practices, European and American countries are still very excited about China's move and have repeatedly asked China to stop this export restriction measure. From this point of view, European and American countries are obviously a little guilty. If they are not targeting China in terms of semiconductors, why should they worry about not being able to import germanium and gallium from China? In a sense, Europe's recent adoption of the CHIP bill actually has the meaning of targeting China. Europe passes CHIP bill. Recently, the European Parliament passed the CHIP Act with a high number of votes. When formulating this plan, Europe obviously implemented it with the idea of targeting China. After all, for a long time, European and American chip companies have not had the idea of healthy competition with China, and in most cases they have the purpose of suppressing China's chip industry. This European chip bill includes a subsidy plan of 43 billion euros. Europe hopes to use this subsidy to attract more companies to enter Europe to build chip factories, so as to increase the proportion of chip production in Europe from 10% to 20%, and this goal must be achieved by 2030. Chips are a very important product at present. Countries around the world are increasing investment in the chip industry. Against this background, it is normal for the EU to take more measures to promote the development of the chip industry like the United States. However, the EU's chip bill and the previous restrictions on chip exports to China clearly violate the principles of free trade and also undermine the normal development of the chip industry. Not only that, but the EU has repeatedly forced domestic companies to decouple from the Chinese market or restrict normal shipments of domestic companies. For example, ASML in the Netherlands has been pressured many times. The Netherlands has repeatedly prevented ASML from exporting advanced lithography machines to China. Before the introduction of this tripartite agreement, there was a related Wassenaar Treaty that restricted ASML from shipping EUV lithography machines to the Chinese market. This behavior is obviously suppressing the Chinese industry. China's restrictions on the export of germanium and gallium are for the purpose of promoting the development of related industries, and it is reasonable to restrict the export of strategic resources. In comparison, European and American countries restrict chip exports for no reason and force companies to implement them.